Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're on the future here. I hope everybody's having a great day today and is doing well. So today I have a comic book to show you and uh, well here it is. Dracula. Now about 11 months ago I uh, put up my first Dracula. I only have two Dracula comic books. So if you want to see the other Draculas there uh, in my videos but uh, so this one here is a 1974 the first one I put up was a 1976 I believe so this is 1974 this one is in just a little bit not as good as condition as the first one I showed about 11 months ago the 1976 Dracula but all in all this still is a really it's in pretty good condition just a little not quite as good as the other one. So in the last video I showed you I was going to uh, bring out this Dracula, my second one, and show you guys. So I was going through my comic book boxes today and I remember I wanted to show you guys this. So this is number, uh, let's see, number 23, 1974. This is Marvel Comics Group, The Tomb of Dracula. Exorcism, the Lord of Vampires, and a Soul Shuddering Secret. So that's a pretty cool cover. I love the Dracula covers. And at the bottom, it's a little hard to read, it says, You dare not fail to read Shadow Over Haunted Castle. So I'll give you a little closer look there. So yeah, I really like the cover. I like the details they did on the castle. Or they call it the haunted, yeah, the haunted castle. That they said haunted mansion. Yeah, so I like the castle. Now the other Dracula comic book I have, it's Dracula, if I remember right, holding the woman in his arms, like carrying her, or getting ready to fly off the mansion with her in her arms. So this here, she's running away from the castle, as you can see. With Dracula in the background. But look at Dracula's face, the detail, even back in 1974. Look at his expression, his eyes, the wrinkles they gave him in his forehead and on his cheeks, and his fangs. I like the detail they put into his face, I like his expression. So it looks like he's really going after her. So anyway, that was about it. Like I said, I just have the two Draculas. The comic book owner of the store had maybe about 10 or 15. I went through them all at the time. This was maybe about 10 years ago. And uh, this one, another one I have from 1976, were uh, the best two I like. They were the best in condition. So I just bought the two. They had a lot of Dracula, uh, but I like the the two that I have because they're in the best condition. I did read this one. I read the other one. Very good stories. So yeah, I'm a Dracula fan. So uh, maybe if I come across some more in better shape, um, I'll buy them. So at least I got these two. So anyway, that was about it, guys. Let me know if you have any Dracula comic books or uh, if you're a fan of Dracula or... Uh, Anything you want to say in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope all of you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you next time.